Okay, good morning, you guys. My phone won't stay up. It is Wednesday morning, and I was thinking about um, food storage <laughs> because I know it sounds really boring and kind of weird, but <laughs> um, but it's kind of near and dear to my heart, <laughs> which is really weird, but it's true. It is okay, whatever. Um, and the reason why it's kind of near and dear to my heart is because I am a really kind of a big fan of food safety. Um, I'm really into making sure that things are clean after I've, you know, used them. And I, I'm a vegetarian, but I cook meat for my family. And I am a big fan of, you know, making sure everything's safe. But one of the things that's come up in the last couple of years is food is uh, containers and BPAs and all these other weird. I have to let my dog. Out. All these other weird. Um, sort of chemicals that you can find in plastic and that has made food storage actually kind of unsafe which isn't so fabulous so I wanted to share with you guys the way that I um, have made my um, sort of food storage safe um, and not super expensive because I can tell you when you go to Costco or you go to Walmart and you want to get a big box of um, storage containers that are glass they're expensive and you know, maybe you start out with a starter set of those and call it a day, but to be honest with you, I don't have very many of them. So the this is like one of those that came with a starter set. I think it's Pyrex, and they're awesome. There's nothing wrong with them. They have great tops, and they work great, but they're expensive. So what do you do if you want to save money? You still want to store in glass, but you want to save money. So I have a couple of different things that I do, and I wanted to share them with you guys. Hi, I'm back. Um, so I buy ball jars, right? So these are the canning jars, and I buy them in all different sizes and colors and shapes and little squatty, little chubby, little tiny. I buy them in different shapes and sizes because they're cheap. <laughs> no joke. Okay. So like these were a little more expensive because they're purple, but these were, I think, I think I got six of the, Hey Kelly Matthews. I got these for, um, you know, like nine bucks or something for six of them. But these were the same price for 12 and same with these and all these other ones. These were like $4 for six of them. And you can store all kinds of stuff in here, but the other cool thing is you can use them as glasses too. <laughs> I know, it just seems like such a boring topic, but it's like so near and dear to my heart, so I feel like I need to share it. So I feel like you guys don't have to, hey Amy, you don't have to store your stuff in plastic because glass is expensive because it's actually not. So go out to Walmart, to Target, to whatever, and buy yourself some ball jars. Oh, and then here's the other cool thing. You know how they have the, the metal tops? Get this. Hold on. Plastic tops, they are BPA-free, but still kind of scares me a little bit. Oh, Stephanie. <laughs> and cheap, too. Um, <laughs> They're plastic, okay, and, I, and I'm trying to say we're not going to use plastic, right? But when you wash the metal jars that come with the ball ones, they actually rust. So not a big fan of rust either, although if you need more iron in your diet, go for it. However, these guys, these plastic ones, yes, I put them on the top, but I make sure that they don't touch my food, all right? So yes, it's a little bit of plastic, but don't touch my food. And these wash up really well. Um, you just packed all yours, Amy. Now you're not going to have anything to store your food in. Um, so that that's that's what I do for tops. Although, let me show you one other cool thing. I'm back. Okay, metal rims. Oh, this is yeah. Well, this is this is fine. Um, nope, not fine. There we go. Metal rims. This this is made by Ball. It's a sippy cup top. You put it in the metal rim. You put it on your handy dandy ball jar, you stick a straw in it, and look, you have a cute little straw thing too. So you got food storage, you got sippy cups because we don't want our kids drinking out of plastic either. We want glass. I know it can sound unsafe, but just keep an eye on them, right? If it breaks, it breaks. You make a move and you clean it up. All right, so another good use for the ball jar. Now, that said, I know that a lot of you people know that I'm really into my 21 day fix eating plan. Plastic, okay? Don't have a problem with this because get this, I don't use these for storage. I use them for measuring cups and plastic and measuring cups is fine because it touches the food and then it gets out. And these are BPA free, which is good, but still 
don't store stuff in here. Don't even put them in here and put them in my lunchbox. I measure it out and I put them in glass all the time. Um, and there's some studies out there too that, um, yeah, they do rust and they're difficult to deal with. Yeah, because it's two parts. So yeah, plastic. These you can get at Walmart, by the way, and um, they are not made by Ball. They're made by Walmart mainstays um, and they are less expensive than the ones made by Ball, but they're exactly the same and they cost a lot less and they're also BPA free. There's that. Um, but anyway, oh, so yeah, studies have shown that food with acid stored in plastic, the plastic chemicals, even the BPA free ones, there's some chemicals um, that they use in addition to, well, to replace the BPA that are still chemicals, right? They will leach into your food. And there's studies that show. So I eat a lot of grapefruits in the wintertime because they're in season. Um, but what I, how I store my grapefruit, I only eat half in the morning and sometimes eat later on in the afternoon, but sometimes I don't. Take this, stick it face down in your glass. You don't need a top because it's sealed when it's sitting down in there. And you're not going to get funky chemicals leached into your grapefruit. So yeah, acidic foods, kind of a problem. So be careful with that. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to share that weird and wonderful um, story with you about my ball jars. I am, oh, hey, Tanisha. I am rather obsessed with them. And I really like the ones that are colored. I have blue ones too. And you know, here's the other thing that I do, just a little hint, is around the holidays, they actually go on sale. Um, different, all the holidays, because canning seems to happen around holidays, uh, all the holidays, Christmas, whatever, but also, um, 4th of July, Memorial Day, because people tend to stay home and do things like can. And so these jars go on sale after the holidays. So you can get these even cheaper in the fun little colors after the holidays. That's all. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I want you guys to have safe food times too. <laughs> Your PSA for today. You guys have a happy, happy Wednesday. I'm off to go work out.